but we got a lot to talk about. So let's meet our new and improved hepatitis hippo, the queen bee of the family. And also I apologize in advance for any bee puns that hurt your ears during this lesson. So the buzz, sorry, on this hippo is that it comes from the Hepatinoviridae family and specifically the genus Orthohepatinovirus. Hepatinoviridae are DNA viruses, hence the cool color scheme in this bedroom. But just in case you forget everything you ever knew about Sketchy Micro, the letters DNA are literally spelled out in the middle of the word. Hepa DNA viridae. So hepatitis B has kind of a weird genome. It's a circular loop that's partially double-stranded, but also partially single-stranded. That's because the positive sense strand is shorter than the negative sense strand. So somehow the virus needs to be able to repair this, and ah, there we have it. Our classic reverso transcriptum spellbook uh, that should remind you of the enzyme reverse transcriptase, which is an RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. I just said that the positive sense DNA strand is shorter, and the genome comes equipped with an RNA template to complete the strand. Reverse transcriptase is actually attached to the genome, so it is a major player in repairing the circular DNA, which is vital for proper synthesis of pre- and sub-genomic RNA. But we'll talk more about that in part two on the life cycle. 